Question three, moments. A uniform beam AB has mass 20 kilograms and length six meters. The beam rests in equilibrium in a horizontal position on two smooth supports. One is at C where AC equals one meter and the other is at end B as shown in figure three. The beam is modeled as a rod. We had the reaction at C and the reaction at B. Find the magnitudes of the reactions on the beam at B and C. First we take moments about C. That means the reaction RC will have no moment at that point. And we get 2 times 20G, the clockwise moment, equals 5 times RB, the anti-clockwise moment. And so RB equals 8G. Similarly, we can take moments about B. Here we get 3 times 20g as the anti-clockwise moment equals 5 times RC, the clockwise moment. And so RC equals 12g. We could equally well have resolved forces vertically and seen that RC plus RB equals 20g, which would give us the same result. RC equals 12G. A boy of mass 30 kilograms stands on the beam at a point D. The beam remains in equilibrium. The magnitudes of the reaction on the beam at B and C are now equal, and the boy is modelled as a particle. So we had the mass as before, we had the two equal reactions. And we add the boy at a distance little d from the point B. We resolve vertically. R plus R will equal 20G plus 30G. So that the reaction at both C and B will be 25G. Now we take moments about B. And we get D times the weight of the boy. 30g plus 3 times 20g, the weight of the beam, and that will equal the clockwise moment 5 times the reaction, which is 25g. From this we calculate 30d is 65 and d is 13 over 6. That means that AD, as the length of AB is 36 sixths, AD will be 23 sixths of a metre.